Hey, this is Paolo from the DMB Academy, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make basses like the ones in the track Siren by So Focus. So, this is the original track. Check, 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 check. And this is the bass we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. Also, if you want to support these videos, consider going to dmbacademy.com and grabbing one of our products. We have amazing presets, samples, courses, and more. And your support helps immensely to keep making videos like this. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial patch. I'm playing a low D sharp. And the first thing we're going to do is to load a sine wave on the sub and a sine wave on oscillator B or A, whatever you want. Then we're going to boost this sine wave three octaves and three semitones up. We're going to add two of unison into this oscillator and bring down this detune. And let's bring down the random knob. And now we're going to turn on the noise. And we're going to go into the effects tab and turn the distortion and the compressor, adding some gain and then loading diode one into the distortion. This way we can start making sense of the tweaks that we make to the sound. So now if we go into this tab right here, this detune knob determines the amount of the upper harmonics. And what we can do is to map an LFO into a level of this oscillator like this. Set our envelope and make it one bar long and then create a rising shape like this. Then we're going to map this LFO into the fine tuning again, hold shift and alt to make it unipolar, which means it's just one way of modulation going all the way to the right. Now we're going to bring this pitch bend minus 24 semitones down and we're going to automate this pitch bend wheel like this. So once you have it in Ableton or in your DAW, it should look something like this. Just a rising curve going all the way from the bottom to the midpoint. And then going back at the end of every note. Okay, so once we have this, let's just map an LFO into the drive of the distortion like this, going all the way down. And we're going to use this LFO to simulate the effect of a raise. So, what we're gonna do is we're going to remove this VPN function and then automate this rate. So once you have it in the DAW, it should look something like this, no modulation at the beginning, but then in the last two notes, there is. There you go. Now you can always change this and play with the detune a little bit. can automate that detune and make it go low like this or very high but it's better to keep it low you can automate it to be higher and this is how you can create a lot of inflections into the sound but as you can see this sound is nothing else than just a bunch of sine waves being distorted with the proper inflections in terms of pitch and amplitude and for post-processing, the only thing we need is to use the Trash 2, set it on multi-band mode, boost the sub a lot, boost the mids a lot, and boost the highs a lot. So before. And after. Very cool sound. So that's gonna be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you wanna get access to the preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.